Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial, and today it's on Battle Royale. So you may recognize this from H1Z1, Armor 2, Armor 3, and maybe some other uh, Minecraft servers. So basically, it's a bit similar to survival games. You run around looting, trying to kill players, and most importantly, avoiding the toxic gas, which is getting ever closer. So if you do the command Battle Royale, um, that will show you all the commands you need to set up an arena. So first of all, we need to set the lobby. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we can check what other components we need. So we need the game spawn and the safe area. So the best way to do this is to either import a world or create a brand new world. So let's go ahead and call it map one. And it's going to be a normal world. And then the creation will start. So the important thing here is that the lobby world, the lobby spawn is in a different world to the other two spawns here. And now we can obviously MBTP to map one. There we go. So it is an ocean biome. Interesting. So if we fly over here, we're going to set the spawns on the land. Um, it looks all right. So over here, we are going to set the game spawn. Uh, let me just find it here. So set game. And then all the way over here. We are going to set the safe zone, safe area. Once you've done this, you can um, restart the server. But um, you could add buildings to the world if you wanted to, and obviously chests. Uh, so if we grab our wand and uh, set a chest, you can uh, add items to it. So the cool thing is, in the config, you can enable and disable block crafting. So you could, in fact, add a crafting table as well. Um, crafting bench, is that the correct way of doing it? Crafting bench? No, maybe it's table. Table, yes, there it is. So, for example, we could add um, diamonds and sticks. So then people create a diamond sword. Um, so make sure... Um, you save before you restart uh, so it saves in the world make sure you have all the dependencies as well such as auto announcer and uh, the world reset so um, once people are done playing it will reset the world and all the loot will replenish so I restarted the server and we are going to play in 20 seconds um, once the countdown has finished so you can edit the min and max players in the config I obviously set it to 2 uh, so me and my other account can play um, but you could set it to whatever you wanted on your uh, server. So, here we are. We spawned in the game spawn. We have a grace period. Um, we just butcher all these enemies. Um, and you're probably wondering what these two items are. So the first one is obviously a cauldron. If you shift um, and look around, it is um, binoculars. And the compass points to the middle of your map. So there's still lots of mobs around here. Um, and if we fly over here, you will be able to see the uh, the toxic gas. So if this comes over me, I would obviously start to die and lose the game. So if I actually go through it, um, can I go through it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, no, I, I'm not sure that I can actually go through uh, to show you what happens. But I would, in fact, die uh, if I was through there. So, um, yeah, this will start to um, get closer and closer while uh, all the players are looting and killing each other. And obviously it would force them to get close together and then there would be a winner. So if I give myself a diamond sword and teleport to my other account, who is hopefully in game mode zero. Um, let me check. Uh, so yeah, it will pop up on your screen once uh, you've won. Congratulations, you won the game, or you've been killed as number hashtag two, for example. Better luck next time, and then it will restart everything, and you could play again. So yeah, that's the plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.